O God, creator of heaven and earth, grant that, as the crucified body of your dear Son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so we may await with him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Today, the one who holds all creation in his hand is himself held in the tomb. A stone covers the one who covered the heavens with beauty. Life has fallen asleep. Glory to you for your work of salvation, for through it you have accomplished the eternal Sabbath rest, and you have granted us the gift of your holy resurrection. Bye. 
A mortal born of women, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow and does not last. Do you fix your eyes on such a one? Do you bring me into judgment with you? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one can. Since their days are determined and the number of their months is known to you, and you have appointed the bounds they cannot pass, Look away from them and desist, that they may enjoy like laborers their days. For there is hope for a tree if it is cut down, that it will sprout again and that its shoots will not cease. Though its root grows old in the earth and its stump dies in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low, humans expire, and where are they? As waters fail from a table and a river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again until the heavens are no more. They will not awake or be aroused from their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you would appoint me a set time and remember me. If mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service I would wait until my release should come. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there opposite the tomb. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days I will rise again. So give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise his disciples may come and steal the body and tell people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go, make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard.
O blessed body, whither art thou thrown? No lodging for thee, but a cold hard stone. So many hearts on earth, and yet not one, receive thee. Sure there is room within our hearts good store, for they can lodge transgressions by the score. Thousands of toys dwell there, yet out of door they leave thee. But that which shows them large shows them unfit. Whatever sin did this pure rock commit which holds thee now? Who hath indicted it of murder? Where our hard hearts have took up stones to brain thee, and missing this, most falsely did arraign thee. Only these stones in quiet entertain thee and order. And as of old the law by heavenly art was writ in stone, so thou, which also art the letter of the word, finds no fit heart to hold thee. Yet do we still persist as we began, and so should perish, but that nothing can, though it be cold, hard, foul, from loving man, withhold thee. Grant, Lord, that we who are baptised into the death of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, may continually put to death our evil desires and be buried with him, that through the grave and gate of death we may pass to our joyful resurrection through his merits, who died and was buried and rose again for us, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 